In this video, I'm going to show you how to configure static routines. And my free previous video, we did very basic static routine uh, configuration. Um, well, this seems to be very complicated, but if you look at this, it's really, really easy to configure our uh, static routine. It will take some time, uh, but uh, but once you configure, uh, every single PC can uh, ping each other. Uh, my goal is ping from every PC, well, PC1, let's say this is PC1, from PC1 to server, uh, from every single, you know, from uh, every single PC to the server, okay? Now, I have picked uh, very, um, if you look at this this uh, IP address scheme, it's 10 dot uh, slash 24. Uh, can I use them? Of course I can. Because if you look at the third octet, my network is changing from here, it's 1. And if you look at here, it's 10.2, 10.3, and here 10.4, and 10.5. And for my serial interface, I picked internal or private IP address. Again, block size is 4, all I need is 2 valid IP address for my point-to-point -point or serial connection. Uh, I spent so much time, well, I spent 15 minutes to plan this activity. Uh, the reason why I did that, because if you have a good plan, you can easily configure any network. Only thing I forgot was the DCE connection, which I'm going to do that now, because, you know, it's sometimes you forget these commands this if you get the planning right you can you know set sort of reminders or this is dce connection so i had to put clock rating in here yeah so planning is very important uh, therefore i'm gonna spend another couple of minutes to uh, configure the DCE, or actually name the DCE connections. So it's not hard, isn't it? It's not that hard. So uh, I know if this is DCE, this is DTE, DTE, I need to find which one is DCE, right? That's DCE, uh, which I'm going to put in here. Okay, I have labeled all my port numbers manually. Uh, this is not uh, Cisco automated uh, port numbering. Uh, so it is, you know, worth to spend some time to more number them. Um, I need to the DCE. Probably I'm not the one. Yeah. So DC, DC, DC. That's DC. Let's put it in here. So it's nicely laid out now, isn't it? So that's a DC. Yep. So I'll put it in here. That's a DCE connection. Uh, DCE. Yes, I could use this side as a DC, but doesn't doesn't really matter. And uh, fast Ethernet ports, I uh, named them. Yeah. So so far, I have spent about you know, 20 minutes to plan this activity. Uh, if you plan this, all I need is now, it's configure all my uh, IP address into the routers, right? Uh, as you can see, I don't have any config tab, so I'm gonna stick to the basic, and uh, I'm, I set up my target uh, in here. If I can uh, configure everything within 10 minutes, uh, then I will, I will get the static routing configuration done within another, probably another, f I don't know, 10 minutes. So this is about 40 minutes uh, uh, activity. Anyway, all right. So first thing first, I'm going to rename this connection. Uh, so my host is R1, uh, no IP domain. 
look up uh MOTD. welcome to r1 yeah enable pass cisco and enable say class mm. most important command login synchronous uh, that will clear out or save a lot of times uh, because of the router when when you activate in the port numbers router generates uh, logs or updates so uh, if you middle of you know type in something if router sends something then it's a really mess isn't it so uh, Yep, so one done. Uh, I'm going to configure my interface now. IMT uh, FS00. I'm going to put IP address 10.0.1.1. Uh, EC uh, subnet mask, and that should be done. Yeah, so INT uh, S00. I can say it's a DCE connection. So, can I put clock rate first? Of course, you can. There's no any sequence or anything. So, you put the clock rate, then uh, IP address 172.27.11.1.255.255.255.252. That's a correct subject mask. No shut and done. Okay. So, one router done. What I'm going to do, instead of starting this one, I'm going to start router 4. So, the reason is, uh, I can literally see when I press no shutdown command, this port should be activated. Uh, so, okay, config t host r4, uh, no ip domain, look up. Uh, TD uh, welcome to R4 okay something like that uh, line con seal pass So some might argue, why did you put uh, uh, login synchronous in uh, virtual terminal connection? Yes, if you if you term if you use the hyper um, if you use the terminal program to access your router, then you don't see any uh, routing updates. But if you use terminal monitor, then you can see every single update of your route. So. Um, I just you know you you can either use or not you it doesn't really matter right so INTFA zero zero IP address so my IP address is ten dot zero dot four dot one two five five two five five two five five zero no shot I know I haven't configured my PCs but I'm coming to that in a minute INTFA zero zero yeah IP address is my second IP address of one seventy two twenty seven eleven dot two network eleven dot zero network but I'm gonna use that. Do I need clock rate? No, because I configured the clock rate already in router one. So that's up. Good sign. Okay. So I'm gonna uh I'm gonna save that. I'm sure I save this one as well. Just in case. Yeah, save that. Okay. Um, then I go to R2, do the same configuration, yeah, so type no, uh, host is R2, let me get my, yeah, then I can see everything, um, okay, so 